Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel and today we are going to discuss anatomy of sternum. So today is bonus sternum bone. So as you can see the structure here, this is your sternum. This structure right here in the middle portion, in the middle portion of your rib cage is sternum. So this is your superior uh, thing, superior structure when you see superiorly and when you see from this side that will be your inferior thing. Okay, so this is the whole, this whole structure is your sternum. So today we are going to see the parts of sternum, the important work that sternum facilitate and all the important uh, details about the sternum. Okay, so in the previous lecture we have completed scapula. The scapula bone is here. This triangular shape bone is your scapula bone. So this is this bone is already covered in the previous uh, previous lecture. So you you guys can go to the playlist and can watch this video. And before starting this video, you guys will get the link for Telegram and for app in the description. So by going, I mean by checking the description box, you'll get the links. Okay, so you will get the different uh, different playlist link as well in the description box. So let's start the video. Okay, so let's start today's lecture. As I as I said, this bone is your sternum bone. This structure is your sternum. This whole structure that I am, you know, making it red. This whole structure is your sternum. This is your sternum bone. So the sternum bone is, uh, I mean, that sternum bone. That lies in the anterior midline of thorax so this bone lies in the middle of the thorax so thorax is a region which is above your uh, above your stomach region and below your skull so that chest area is known as thorax and in that thorax region your sternum lies in the anterior midline of the thorax so it forms part of your rib cage. It is a part of your rib cage. So this is your rib cage. This whole structure is your rib cage, and this sternum is a part of your rib cage. And this is the entire most part of your thorax. So as I already said that this is the anterior uh, midline of your thorax. So it is the anterior most part of your thorax. Okay. The function, so its function are to protect your thoracic organs. So thoracic organs like your lungs, your heart, these organs are protected by the rib cage, and this bone called sternum is a part of your rib cage. So this, uh, uh, this structure, this rib cage, you know, protects your thoracic organs like lungs and heart from any trauma. It also forms the bony attachment for various muscles. So this gives place for the attachment of different kind of muscles in 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 the in this thoracic region okay so it protects your thoracic organs and give a place for attachment of different muscles so it is also a center around which superior thin ribs directly or indirectly attached so again this is a center your scapula is a sorry your sternum is a center to attach thin ribs so your thin ribs attached to the sternum directly or indirectly so all your seven yeah till your seven rib these ribs are attached directly to the sternum and these other um, ribs are attached indirectly with your sternum so this is a center it gives you it it, it gives the rib cage a center to you know join together so our ten ribs are joined to the sternum directly or indirectly okay so talking about function so what is what are the uh, important what are the important functions that uh, sternum have so it protects your lungs it protects your heart it protects your thoracic blood vessels from any mechanical damage for any collision for any mechanical damage it protects your thoracic organs next it develops from left and right cartilaginous plates so it talking about embryological development so it develops from left and right cartilaginous plate and unites in the midline so these um these rib rib cage that that the bones that bones are there in the rib cage start develop it, it starts from left and right cartilaginous plate or centers and then they these bones unite in the midline in the sternum okay what are the different parts of the sternum so it has three different parts first second and third first in man first is manubrium 
second is body and third is xiphoid process so manubrium is the most superior region this is the most superior region or upper region of the sternum and that articulates with the clavicle so we have already covered bone called clavicle it is s shaped bone or we can say collarbone so it articulates manubrium the upper region the superior region of your sternum articulates with your clavicle bone and first pair of ribs so along with clavicle the manubrium joins first few pair, pair of ribs okay now coming to the body it articulates with your third to seventh rib so it articulates your third rib to seventh rib and now coming to xiphoid process this is the most inferior part of your sternum so this uh, this uh, xiphoid process do not attach with any uh, rib okay so let's talk about you know the area so this this whole region wait okay so this whole region is your manubrium so he, from here your clavicle attaches and here first few couple of your ribs attach now coming to the body this whole structure is your body and this this small structure is your xiphoid process so the body you know uh, uh, the body joins first i mean from third rib to seventh rib directly from the body and xiphoid process uh, process is the most inferior part of the uh, sternum you can say now coming to few important points regarding to sternum is it develops from left to right cartilaginous plate and unites in midline this is the first important uh, the, the first important information now coming to the next line next statement that is the ribs develop from their ossification center so all the ribs develops from their ossification center and unite with sternum in the midline so all the ribs unite with this sternum so that is the main joint and junction point of ribs okay the manubrium and xiphoid process the most in the uh, superior and inferior part the xiphoid process and manubrium usually usually develop from ossification center so they have their own ossification center and they develop from their own ossification center the xiphoid process does not fully join the body from the sternum until adulthood so uh, till the years of it until uh, the years till the 18th year the xiphoid process does not fully join the body of sternum so here we have this is for example this is the manubrium and this is the body and this is xiphoid process so xiphoid process does not fully join to the body of sternum so it does not jo join the body of sternum until adulthood so uh, near around 18 years the xiphoid process join the body of sternum okay now talking about this word sternum okay this word name stern the word called sternum so this word sternum originates from ancient greek word so it originates from in ancient greek word that word is sternon that ancient greek word is sternon that means chest this ancient greek word sternon means chest and the sternum is also known as breastbone so this sternum is also known as breastbone it is a flat bone that articulates with clavicle so this flat bone this comes into the category of flat bone so flat flat bone so your sternum is a flat bone your sternum is a flat bone your clavicle no 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 not clavicle your um that um uh, what's its name wait a minute your scapula yes your scapula is a flat bone so sternum is a you know sternum falls under the category of flat bone and it articulates with the clavicle so it articulates with clavicle and the coastal cartilage of upper seven ribs so all the upper seven ribs that are true ribs are joined with uh, sternum while eight ninth and tenth rib that are false rib because it is uh, i mean it's it's floating it these these ribs are kind of floating ribs that's why we call these ribs flat uh, sorry false ribs okay these are indirectly attached with the sternum via coastal cartilage via coastal cartilage so with the help of coastal cartilage these uh, uh, these ribs are attached with sternum 
okay and the bone is divided into three parts first is membrane second is the body which is also known as mesosternum and third is xiphoid process that is also known as xiphysternum so we have three different part of the bone named sternum talking about manubrium so manubrium is a large quadrangular shaped bone that lies upper the body of the sternum so this is this is your body of the sternum and it lies above the body of the sternum okay this is the largest part of your sternum bone the lower border is narrower the lower border is narrower and quite rough and articulate with the body with a thin layer of cartilage in between so it articulates it, it joins with the body of sternum with the uh, layer of cartilage in between at the superior border of the bone is the jugular notch so this area this area is your jugular notch and supra uh, and supra sternal notch so here are your supra sternal notch fibers of intraclavicular ligaments are attached here so these areas are the place of attachment of these ligaments okay so this is the place for attachment of intraclavicular ligaments the clavicular notch for the articulation of clavicle so this notch is for articulation of clavicle your s shaped collarbone and are projected upward and laterally on the bone side so this is projected upward and laterally it's placed laterally laterally on the both side of your jugular notch so this is your jugular notch here this is your jugular notch and this is a place for your um and this is your clavicular notch and clavicular clavicle joints from here the coastal cartilage of the first rib and part of the second rib also articulates with the manubrium so your coastal cartilage that is your first rib and the second rib also joins your manubrium and they fit into facet on its lateral border so we have few facet here like this is this is the facet where your first rib and second rib will, art will articulate in these regions in the lateral border the lower border of the manubrium articulates with the body of sternum at the sternal angle so the lower border of your manubrium will join sternum's body at the sternal angle so that angle is known as angle of nullus okay it is where the second pair of coastal cartilage attaches and this is the area where your second pair of your uh, coastal cartilage attaches to the sternum at the level of inferior border of t4 it is also clinically known as angle of lewis and this whole thing is known as angle of lewis the second intercostal space can be palpitated on either side of the projection and is the location for uh, uh, for the articulation of pulmonary and aortic aortic area of on left and right side respectively so this is the area for your different pulmonary uh, veins and aortic uh, and aortas here okay now second important part is body of sternum the body of sternum or that bone is also known as ladyloid and also known as that term called mesosternum okay and it is a long flat structure the longest and flat structure with convex anterior surface and concave posterior surface it has facet on each lateral border for articulation with the coastal cartilage so it it has like this type of um facet and this is your xiphoid process and here all the ribs comes and articulates like this all the ribs will come and join okay the uh, the sternocostal head of the pectoralis major muscle attaches the sternum so this attaches the sternum that sternocostal head of the pectoralis major muscle and lateral side of the anterior surface and the posterior surface of the body gives rise to the transverse thoracic muscle that is inverted by intercostal nerves the lower part of the bone is narrower and articulates with xiphoid process so the lower part of the bone is pretty much narrower and your xiphoid process is the narrowest um, you know structure in your sternum so next next uh, next structure is xiphoid process okay the the triangular and the small projection the, the xiphoid process also is also known as projection of bone which usually pointed so that bone is usually pointed like this okay the possession of demi facet that part of seventh coastal cartilage at the supra lateral angle so this is the 
part of your seventh costal cartilage at supraliteral angle the fibers of rectus abdominis and aponeurosis of internal and external obliques are attached to the anterior surface of it and posterior surface give rise gives rise to the inferior sternoperi uh, sternopericardial ligament and is also is the site of insertion of part of thoracic diaphragm so this is the site of insertion of your thoracic diaphragm that diaphragm is uh, present below the sternum uh, below the rib cage blood supply to the sternum arises from the internal thoracic artery so blood supply is managed by the internal thoracic artery so this is the whole structure of your sternum so this is xiphoid process this is body of sternum and membrane so we have three basic areas so we have three basic areas in the sternum so this is your membrane second one is your body so this whole thing is your body and the last one is xiphoid process this one is xiphoid process so this is the main structural uh, thing for your sternum and i hope this lecture is clear for you uh, all and if you have any doubt please write down your doubt doubts in the comment section if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up if you like this channel you can subscribe if you feel like you should share this video with your friends you can share and please do join our telegram channel and uh, please download our app this is for your benefit okay so all those students who all are from forensic background and are preparing for forensic science ugc net they can uh, you know download our app and that will uh, be very uh, good for them so have a great day ahead see you in the next lecture till then take care of yourselves and bye